everyone, this is me Satya here and I am doing your uh, pick a card reading for you to know are they going to reach out to you in the month of June 2019. Uh, I have already pulled out two sets of cards. Uh, this reading applies to your ex, to your current partner, to your, you know, uh, your soulmate, whoever you wish to contact you or whoever you wish to have a communication coming through from. It is applicable on all those people. It doesn't have to be a particular, you know, um, an ex or a soulmate or, you know, uh, any one of, you know, it could be anyone who you are waiting to receive that coming through. So, um, yeah, let's see. Are they going to reach out to you in the month of June? And yeah, let's get into it. Uh, be mindful of the fact it is a general reading. It may, it may not resonate with everyone out there. So pick whatever resonates and leave the rest. You can always reach out to me for a personal reading. All personal readings are done within 24 hours of the time you send me the payment proof. So let's get started. This is set number one. This is set number two. Pick and choose whichever you feel more connected to. I'm going to start with set number one. So I'm going to push these cards a little up. It's going to be a very quickie one, by the way. So let's begin. Let's see uh, what is coming up for you. For those of you who are choosing the first set of cards, are they going to reach out to you in the month of June? Let's begin with the, the right away cards here. Five of Swords paired up with Knight of Cups and let go of control issues, allow the situation to unfold naturally. For those of you who have picked this set of cards, I believe the person that you are dealing with is, you know, having a hard time deciding about it. They are unable to make the decision. Um, for some of you, it could be they have other options as well. But for most of you, I do believe it's of, uh, you know, them making their mind about, you know, moving this relationship or taking this relationship seriously. It's more like, you know, maybe they are not ready right now. And they want some time to, to decide. They are right now trying to control their emotions for you. They are trying to control your, their, you know, their love for you. They are suppressing their feelings. They are kind of, you know, trying to control each and everything in a, in a way that they don't let you know they love you. They, they don't want to open up about it to you. But um, at the same time, there is love. Definitely there is, you know, this pull that they feel towards you. And if you ask me if they are going to open up to you or if they are going to reach out to you, yes, they would. But I do see it's not going to happen in, um, uh, in the month of June. They are going to do that in the maybe in July because I do see the slow movement happening for them. They are trying to let go of, you know, their uh, fears, their doubts, their, you know, uh, whatever that is kind of, you know, holding them back. For very few of you, like maybe a couple of you out there, it would be because of another person that they are, you know, kind of, you know, depending upon uh, before they make this, rela uh, this relationship, you know, decision. It doesn't have to be another person as in a relationship. They, they might not be in a relationship with another person, but maybe there is another person in their life and uh, on that person their decision depends a lot maybe that they are waiting for their you know sibling to get married before they can get married to you maybe they are you know waiting on for something to happen be that you know uh, maybe they are in the process of helping their family and they want to get done with it so they could you know take charge of their life and you know move their life ahead in a in a um a, a move a, their life ahead in in, in you know uh, taking their love and relationship uh, to the next level. So it's it's more like, you know, something is there in their life, which is kind of, you know, stopping them. That is what I'm picking up. That is for just a few of them. But for most of you, this person is unable to make the decision right now is what I'm picking up very strongly. So this person is definitely going to reach out to you, but not in the month of um, uh, June, because there is slow movement that you could feel. Even if you are in touch with this person, uh, it, it would not be some sort of, you know, very um, back and forth communication, I believe. It, it's more of, a, you know, um, communication than no communication, communication than no communication kind of a thing. It's not something which is, you know, um, going on consistently in your life. It's like, you know, when they communicate, they kind of, you know, pull back and that they try to control things. They try to be in charge of uh, the whole thing. They don't want to give a lot to you. They don't want to, you know... Um, uh, spend a lot of time with you because they they want to stay in control of their emotions as well when it comes to you so 
until and unless they know they have they are 100 percent sure that yes this is what they want they are not going to express it all to you they are not not going to be as uh open to communicate as you would like them to be so yeah that's pretty uh, pretty much coming up for uh, the people who chose the first set of cards so i don't think that this person is going to reach out to you in the month of june but yeah you could see slight changes happening in your in your love life with them so yeah if the reading resonates with you do like subscribe and share and if you're uh, willing to get a personal reading in your particular situation that you are in with this person you can always reach out to me for a personal reading so yeah that's pretty much it for you people let's move on to the second set of cards and let's see what is coming up for them from their person like you know uh will they reach out to them or not uh, let's start with this card from the right away deck two of cups pair up with the high priestess <laughs> uh, okay free yourself it's time to take back control of your life Wow, it's almost the same as I, I as the the first set of cards. Wow, it's it's wow. Um, <laughs> it's almost like you know the same thing. But the good thing is, it could be. Um, you know, if you have ch checked the first set of cards, if you have chosen that for yourself and the other one for yourself, it it could be that as well. Like you know, um, <sighs> it's it's more like you know the next stage of the same. You know, first. Uh, set of cards it's like you know moving on to the next maybe it's going to happen for those of you who chose the first set of cards maybe this is going to happen in the in the in the month of july for you is what i'm picking up very strongly if you have not checked this first set of cards you can check that out as well um for those of you who have chosen the second set of cards uh will they reach out to you in the month of june not physically but yeah through your dreams through the signs you are going to be receiving some sort of communication coming through them uh coming from them and i would tell you how you know if you're sitting back and you know doing your own thing you would have a glimpse of them in your head like you know you would you could feel as if it was real like you know you would feel a kind of you know shed of them or you could feel the you know their their perfume like you know their scent they use and it, it is going to kind of you know um they are going to communicate to you on energies level i would say it's it's like you know this person might not be you know opening up to you that uh, that uh, that way like you know in a in a physical realm they would not be maybe for some of you is what i'm picking up but they are going to be reaching out to you through different ways through meditation they would be trying to connect to you they are going to con try to connect to you through your dreams because they do miss you they do love you but at the same time um there is some sort of you know block between the two of you uh it could be that you know this person has blocked you or it could be that you have blocked this person and this person is unable to reach out to you in uh in you know in a physical way but they can use the other uh you know options they have they can you know, try to communicate to you through you know meditation i would say and they they would try to reach out to you somehow and um it would be up to you if you if you open that door up to them and you know just you just let them be in if you have blocked them it's time for you to unblock them just just do uh you know take that step and um, if they have blocked you they are you know let them communicate to you through the through this you know um uh energy energies kind of you know thing and then when when they are completely like you know don't reach out to them i would suggest you if if you are the one who is blocked i would suggest you not to reach out to them let them reach out to you because somebody has to let go of that block you know there i do see a block there between the two of you you really have to you know either you because i do see that person communicating because they are reaching out to you they are communicating you uh with you through um non-physical ways like you know meditation energies you know sending uh you know this um telepathic messages and stuff like that they would be doing all of that because they do love you they do miss you but at the same time maybe they are too stubborn to you know unblock you maybe they are too stubborn or too egoistic to do that all so if even if i believe even if you reach out to them if you are unblocked and if you reach out to them they are going to be more than happy that you reached out to them because i do see there is this uh, uh a little bit of you know block that they have or you have from your end uh, it could be like you know like it could be a you know a block on uh you know social media from them if that is the case then it's time for you to let be you know let things be and they are going to reach out to you You don't have to worry about it because they have already started communicating to you through dreams through you know different messages they would be sending to you 
but uh, if you are unblocked and if you can communicate with each other this person is you know they really want to reach out to you but they are unable to do that because of their ego or because of their you know their their control they're trying to do right now on their emotions and stuff like that but they are going to open up about it as well but not in the month but later on in the month of july for those of you i said that you know you might be receiving this person's you know coming uh through for you in the month of uh, july not in june for those of you who are watching this for this uh after watching the first uh set of cards i would suggest i would uh, definitely suggest you to um keep yourself open to the messages that you would be receiving maybe in the month of uh, june but that's going going to intensify their need to be with you and they are going to reach out to you in the month of july so yeah that's pretty much it coming up for all of you who chose the second set of cards if the reading resonates with you do like subscribe and share if you are willing to get a personal reading, you can always reach out to me for that on my email ID in the description box. All personal readings are done within 24 hours of time. You send me the payment proof. So yeah, take care and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.